Thursday, September 8th, 2011. I'm Wilson Tang on CNET.com and it's time to get loaded. Droid fans have finally something to celebrate. Verizon has finally released the Motorola Droid Bionic. The phone was announced nine months ago at CES and at the time the phone was hailed as a breakthrough super phone, though many new Android smartphones have beat it to the punch. The new Droid Bionic includes an updated sleek new design since January. It features a huge 4.3 QHD display, dual core processors, and Verizon's 4G LTE support. The Bionic will cost $299 with a two-year contract, and you can find out more by heading on over to CNET.com for the full review. Streaming media boxes like the Apple TV or Roku box are popular these days among tech enthusiasts. Sony is updating its net boxes with the new SMP N200. Yes, we know, catchy name. As you would expect, it has support for Netflix, Hulu Plus, and Amazon Instant Video, as well as DNLA, but differentiates itself with 3D compatibility. Details are scarce, though, about what you can watch on the new device, which is expected out in October. No price has been announced. A new report claims that Apple is working on a new update to its popular Logic Pro audio editing software suite, but this time around the new Logic will not make the same mistakes as the overwhelmingly negative launch of Final Cut Pro 10. Apple is said to be making similar changes to the suite by getting rid of some apps while integrating others. Logic Pro 10 is expected to be available through the Mac App Store, but there's no official word on price or availability. The patent wars between essentially every single major player in the smartphone industry is heating up even more. HTC has filed another lawsuit against Apple, this time with nine patents that it just acquired from Google last week. The patent transfers mark the biggest show of support yet from Google to its Android partners who have been hammered by Apple lawsuits. Google itself may enter the legal wars with its pending purchase of Motorola Mobility. Adobe has entered the photo sharing app craze with its new Carousel program. Carousel does everything you would expect, including uploading, storing, and syncing your photos, all from your iOS devices. Plus, it also lets you create galleries and add effects non-destructively to pictures. So if you decide that that faded sepia effect is so last week, you can update it easily to a Lomo graphic look. But unlike other popular photo sharing services like Instagram, Adobe Carousel doesn't come cheap. The first 30 days are free, but after that, you'll be charged $60 a year or $6 a month. Those are your headlines for today. I'm Wilson Tang for CNET.com, and you've just been loaded.